Now, the next one, what do you think of this? When will Britain end the plague of e-scooters? There's the headline. Uh, many people are calling them the menace of our roads. And yesterday, the city of Paris actually voted to ban the hire of e-scooters. So should we be doing the same in Britain? Now, we saw you earlier, Brenda, just having a go. <laughs> and, I mean, it wasn't that fast. It was fast. Did it feel That fast? was fast. Yeah. I don't know if they, they... I think they said two, three miles. I was scooting. I was... I was... Was. It was... It was... It was it's, that was quite... My hands were shaking. I'm yeah. still a little bit shaking. Because you don't that. like these things. I don't... The reason I don't like them is because I have been on the other side where I'm just walking on a street and all of a sudden something just literally takes my ear off and I, I didn't even know where it came you from. You don't hear it's, them, do you? You don't hear them. I think it's very... I think that... There should be um, everybody, and I say this with cyclists as well, because there's hit and runs left, right and centre. And the amount of times that I have to pay insurance for my car, but if a, a cycle or an e-scooter hits mine, they get away scot-free, but I'm the one that's left picking up the bill or my, my insurance goes up because of that. And then you've got the, you know, you've got a lot of young children who have not got the awareness of what is going on on the road. Well, they road. say um, e-scooters have been the cause of 31 deaths Ooh. on our streets in four years, injured thousands of people with an average age of 12. Because <laughs> apparently, I didn't realise this, that when people rent them, yeah. you rent them for a certain amount of time, and if you haven't used up the whole time, they dump the scooter, mm. kid comes along, goes, oh, there's 10 minutes left on this, mm. and they hop onto the scooter, crash into buses, crash into pedestrians, mm. injure themselves, injure other people. I had one left on my drive last week. And I came out of my house to move my car and I was like, oh, I haven't used that. Where's that? Literally on my drive. And I was scared to touch it because I, I thought it was one of these things where if you move it, you're, you're getting billed or, or whatever. Or yeah. it's, but, you know, if, if there's time left on it and you register to get on it in the first place and there's time left on it when it's finished, then there should be something to deregister. You can't think until you deregister. It's like yeah. tap in, tap out when you do the, you the literally tube see, You literally see them discarded. Yeah, I don't understand everywhere. that. And it's not even discarded up against a wall. No. I mean, if you walk around London, they're discarded in the middle of the street. Yeah. And I didn't know about this whole chip thing where you pay mm. for it and then it's, yeah. you know... Um, so I was thinking, why is there a load? I thought someone's has someone stolen these and then just dumped <laughs> them in. Because the even if I did rent one and my time was up or I didn't need it anymore, I wouldn't just get off it and leave it in the middle Prop of the street. Up somewhere. Why? Yeah. The, I don't understand. Well, I suppose because people don't care and they go someone else will collect it. The there are some around. positive sides, ladies. Go on, then. <laughs> All right, just to read it back in just All a right. little. <laughs> Let's have it. So, so listen, they are really, really green. Right? Yes, of so course. there's no pollution. But I, I've used them. I, I find them great fun. Um, and also, they're really easy to use. You just literally go like that, put your information in, away you go. I do agree that they do, they do now need to be legislated just because mm. they're coming, becoming popular. Do you so ride popular. it on the road? Or, yeah. Because a lot of people are saying it's the you fact that they're on the I've got a full driving yeah, licence. I've got a full driving yeah. licence. I, 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 I ride it on the road and, and I did have a helmet and I did do all of those kinds yeah, of so things. Yeah, so you're doing it right. Right, exactly. But if we legislated it, yeah. everyone would be doing it right. And it yeah. saves money, especially if there are lots of people... That there's a guy that works in my local... Um, car park and he uses his to go to and from work because it saves him a lot of money in terms of buses yeah, yeah. and tubes and, and public transport where we know we've got our problems. So that independence of being able to leave when I want to leave, come, go home when I want to go home and know that it's going to cut my journey in half not have to sit in a traffic and not jam. have to sit in a traffic mm. jam, all of those things, it being green, there are lots yeah. of positive There are. I agree and with, you. with all that. these things, there will always be responsible e-scooter users yeah. like yourself, but mm. there seem to be a lot of very irresponsible e-scooter e users. Yeah. Do any of you see them around in the pavements yeah. and things? Do you think they're dangerous? Yeah. 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 Our audience are saying yes. Um, would you like to see e-scooters banned in the UK? We asked you at home, and 71% of you say yes. Yes, you would. Oh, uh, we don't have to ban everything. No. It's not about banning. They need to regulate it properly. Regulate it properly. Yeah. Okay.